Hello, my friends. Egypt has the oldest civilization on earth. In Egypt, when the history started to be written, 3000 BC, the time of the first king of the first dynasty, King Narmar, we have the oldest historical ballet of the world, Ballet of Narmar. In this video, I am Hussam Khairi. Welcome to Eye of Mystery Egypt. Welcome back. Narmar was the first of the eight kings of the first dynasty. So, this is the oldest important relic of the archaic period and in the whole history of Egypt. The Narmar ballet made of a chest. Narmar, he has been identified with Menes, whom the Egyptian historian Manitin designated as the founder of the first dynasty. Both faces of the ballet documented the struggle to unify the north and the south of the country. The first side is divided into three registers. In the first register is the name of Narma, represented as a fish and a chisel, inscribed in the Sirich. The Sirich which he used to write the name of the kings inside it before using the cartouches. The name is flanked by two cow heads with human features representing the goddess Hathor in what is one of the oldest representation of a god with human features. In the middle register, we see the king wearing the white crown of Abar Egypt and a short kill to which an ox tail is attached. He is holding his mace and is about to smith an enemy whom he holds by the hair. The king is followed by his sandal bearer, who holds a jar for purification. On the right hand side is a falcon representing the god Horus, leading 6,000 enemies, representing by six papyrus stems emerging from a stylized human body. The papyrus also might represent the lower Egyptian delta region. Underlining the super mercy of the king over the two parts of the country. In the third register, we see two frightened enemies feeling in panic. The other side of the ballet compresses four registers. The first is similar to its counterpart on the, the first side, while the second shows Narmer wearing the red crown, crown of the north and the short kilt with the attached oxtail. The description of his name in front of his face stresses his identity. In one hand he holds his mace, and in the other hand the nechik, the flagellum, that will become a typical royal scepter symbolizing authority. The king is followed by his sandal beard, holding a jar for purification. In front of the king are his vizier and four person carrying standards representing various names of the country. Victory is represented by ten decapitated enemies with their heads placed between their legs, while over them is a representation of a falcon and symbolic poet, probably for pilgrimage to the secret cities in the western delta. In the third register are two mythical animals with twisted head, firmly held by two attendants by robes attached to their necks. This may be a symbolic representation of the unity between the southern and the northern parts of the country or it may equally symbolize the end of the state of war between the north and the south. The fourth register shows the king as a strong bull destroying a fortress while one of his enemies lies beneath him. However, he is not killing the enemy, rather it symbolizes the stage of the bloodless white victory which was the last phase of the struggle for the unification of Egypt. The tradition of showing the king as a taller figure is respected in the representation on both sides. The Narmar ballet is a reflection of the high artistic and symbolic levels attended in the ancient period. 
together with great technical skills in the polishing of chess and the representation of human anatomy. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video and wanted to hear from me again, please hit the subscribe button before you go and you will find me on YouTube and Facebook by the same name, Eye of Mystery Ninja.